hello beautiful ladies welcome back to my channel and it's good to see you here hanging out with me today so whenever you watch this video i want to say thank you for hanging out with me for this few minutes that i'll be talking about what i want to talk about so i want to talk about the fear of finding the right partner the fear of finding the one one thing about new year is it puts you in a place of thinking it puts you in a place of even as we write our resolutions and the things we want to do the things we don't want to do it also puts us in a place of awareness where we become aware of the things that have not happened for us and that is why i'm making this video i want to speak to my sisters who are of a certain age who want to have their own family but who want to have that partner that loved one somebody they can do life with but for some strange reasons, it's not just happening for you and you are just like thinking and scared that time is passing you by. I want to say this. The fear of not finding the right partner or finding the wrong is a common thing, is a common fear, first of all. I want to disarm you with that. Don't think it's just common or don't think it's just unique to you because when you are past certain age especially when you are like maybe it, it depends on everyone though it differs for everyone but for me i became i became agitated or i became wanting to have my own family more than i wanted it where well, i think when i was about like 35 that was when i began to say wow where is he i want to settle down and there are some people who want it when they are in their 20s. There are some people who want it when they are in their 40s. And there are some people who want it in their 50s. And there are some people who don't even want it at all. But basically, the people I want to, the, the ladies or the, the wonderful sisters I want to speak to on this video is they are the people who want to have a family, but you are scared that it's not just happening for you. And you are thinking that this is another year. God, where is he? Where is me? Where is my man? Where is this particular man that or woman that you have created for me? Time is passing me by. Everyone is going on with their life. Everyone is having their life partner. And you screw and through Instagram and you see people, couples, you know, doing their thing. Ladies, men, everyone having their rings and doing their thing. But it seems like it's not happening uh, for you. And this can really cause anxiety can really cause stress because it did cause stress for me because if you've not seen my video you know life after 30 you should watch it i'm going to link it somewhere as well as going to i'm going to put it at the end of this video at the end card you can watch it there basically in that video i talked about my fears and my concern and my anxiety and some of the things you feel when you are in that stage of your life you know and that is what this video is about i want to tell you today that one of the things that you can do to overcome this fear which is you have to understand that it is normal to have doubts and fears about your future especially when we as humans there are certain things that we do not have control over and you need to acknowledge that there are things that you can control. You can control going to the filling station, to the petrol station, to get your petrol in your car, go to the jeep, eat right and stuff like that. But when it comes to partner, I'm not saying picking anyone. I'm talking about the one, you know, because the one means different thing to different people. The one for me was somebody that respect me i wanted a man that would love me that will respect me that will see me as a partner somebody that will carry me along that we can do life together somebody that loves to travel somebody that has a sense of adventure somebody that a man that doesn't have children you know that was a big deal for me because i dated somebody before that had children and i didn't like it and I wanted somebody that was God fearing, somebody that was um, was kind, you know, and somebody that is hardworking, somebody that is family oriented, you know. There were things I wanted, you know, and I would say that my partner 
he has 80 percent of the things because there's no perfect human being don't forget that bit and i'm grateful to god that he is not perfect but 80 percent of the things that i wanted i uh, he has it and i'm okay with it i work with 80 percent and the 20 percent i'm still working with the 20 percent we give god all the glory so what i'm saying to you is this my darling that fear of you saying where is he when is he going to come that doubt is normal but first like i said there are things you can control there are things you cannot control and one of the things you can basically do instead of you feeling sad and saying when is it going to come is for you to write down what you want in your mate what you want in your partner what you want in your husband, what you want in your wife. So this is the time for you to sit down and make that list at the beginning of this year and begin to look at it and begin to read it to yourself and put it in your subconsciousness because that was one of the things that I did. I wanted these things in my mind, but I never wrote them down. So I sat down then, I remember I had this little walk-in closet and I wrote it down what I wanted in my partner and I spaced it on the wall. And every time I go in there to do my prayers, I will read it out. I will thank God for it, that I have received it. I never said, oh, I, when I'm going to have it, I always, I always pray my prayer to say, I have, because I believe that what. When we're coming into this life, everything that we need has already been given unto us according to the Bible. We already have it. So you praying that God will oh, give it to me. No, you already have it. It's just for you to manifest it. And that was the mentality I had then. And I was coming from a place of I have it. So then I'll just look at my list, the things that I wanted. And I'll just thank God for it. And I said, God, I thank you for my husband. I thank you for this. I thank you for that. I thank you because I have it. You understand me? So there were things I just thanked. I just said, and I thank God. And it will uplift my spirit. And I will speak positively because it's positive words into my spirit. Because there were days that I promise you that will be hard. I can sit here and tell you that, oh, sis, it's fine. You'll be fine. Just be positive. Mm, girl. I like to keep it real because there are days that you don't feel like saying anything positive. There are days that you want to be heard by this person. There are some days that you just, you just feel like, oh, my God, will it ever happen for me? Will it ever, ever happen for me? So that is why I'm saying this to you, that even though you feel like that or whenever you feel like that, just know that it will happen for you in as much as you put it in front of you. And instead of one thing I could say is this, instead of you focusing, even though you are focusing, you understand, still don't focus. Okay, what do I mean by this? Even though you want this person, this mate, your husband, and that is the life that you want, I want you as well to focus on finding of focusing on living your life. Let me put it that way. This life that has been given unto you, at the end of the day, we can want so many things, but our paths are so different. There are people who will come into this life and they will never marry. They will never have children. And it's not because they don't want it. It is because it just will not happen for them. There are people these things will never happen for. It's like being a millionaire, being a billionaire, not everyone will be billionaires not everyone will be millionaires and that is the truth it's just the way life is so basically we can want these things we can speak these things we can prophesy these things sometimes it might not just happen for you so my darling i would want you to get a life find a life for yourself invest in yourself this year 2023 invest in your passions invest in travels make new friends i know it's not easy to make new friends especially when you're a certain age but you can if you put yourself out there and go out and get new activities there you will meet people who like what you like and you could make one or two friends there go out on a tea and stuff like that Live your life to the fullest and let things happen naturally. Now, this sounds like a cliche because when I was single then, there were people who used to tell me that, mm, girl, when you are looking for love, it never happens. 
even though you are praying, even though you are focusing, even though you are speaking these things, you know, they said, live your life as naturally as possible because it will come when you least expected it. But when you are in that place of wanting it, a place of inner desperation, you understand what I'm saying? You don't see these words. You feel like people are bullshitting you, but it's actually the truth. For me, when I, I wanted it, but there was a time I just said, oh God, I have waited for so long. This is it for me. I wanted children and it was not happening. And I said, Bef like I wanted to have a family, like with somebody and have children and it was not just happening. So there was just something that came up from inside of me and I just made up my mind that I'm just going to live my life. And that was it. And I said something to myself then. Excuse me, I'm just drinking my tea. <laughs> and I said something to myself then that even if I don't get this person, I want children. I'm just going to adopt children and, and just have, even if it's just a child and have that person, you know, because I want children very much i really did wanted children and i started living my life i started making myself happy i started working on myself my self-confidence as a woman and i started just doing me basically and i my dating my mindset just shifted because i st i stopped settling for bullshit i stopped answering bullshit calls i stopped i started blocking people or guys that were sending me rubbish messages because when you are in that place yeah because you might be wanting something but you might be emotionally there's a word i want to use now that i can found i can find you can be there but your mentality emotionally can be just rubbish you understand what i'm trying to say so you could just be waiting or praying for that man, but you'll be weak emotionally because then you want to entertain everybody thinking, okay, in this, in my bed days, or you go out on a date with this guy and you're like, oh God, is he the one? Oh, so you, you tend to see the one in every man. You understand? Until you, see, until you have a few dates with some men and you find out that, oh God, the same bullshit, it's just another man wearing another trouser and you move on. For me, I got tired of going out on dates. I got tired of just dressing up, going out for dates. And I just basically stopped. You understand? I stopped entertaining, basically. I was just living my life. So the places I was going there was, I was going on like groups meeting, just trying to just meet people naturally in terms of making new friends. You understand? I wasn't actively looking anymore to say, okay, okay, he's looking at me like this. I wasn't anymore. I was dressing up, of course, but I wasn't dressing up because I wanted somebody to talk to me. My mentality at some point it just shifted. And that is what I'm trying to tell you, my darling. This year, even though you are praying and you are wanting this particular person that God has for you to come into your life, I want you to take the time out to live your life. Enjoy being in this life. Make new friends and allow things to happen naturally. Because it is when you are not looking, that is when it really do happen. And for me, it did happen. I've never seen anyone that fretted about their future like me, like the way I did. You understand me? And people, there are people who would say that, oh God, you needed a counselor. It was a natural thing. Seriously, because people um, have, people, people, people have different perceptions of things and people carry their emotions differently i didn't think anything was wrong with me wanting to have a family i didn't think anything was wrong with me wanting to have children especially when i was over 30 this was what i wanted i wanted to have a family i was getting older i don't want to get married when i'm in my 50s I wanted to get married when I'm still young, I'm still strong, when I can still give birth to children. So I didn't think anything was wrong with it. But then I was doing it the wrong way. You understand what I'm trying to say? But when I left, when my mentality shifted, I started living my life, taking one day at a time. That was when it did happen. And I did meet the one that I am with now, my life partner. Hopefully we will live the rest of our lives together. You understand? I wasn't looking anymore. Another thing I can say to you is, 
if 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 fear is impacting your daily life and you feel like okay i can't really function because there are some people where the fear becomes overwhelming and the devil is really using it against you i really think you need to see a therapist a counselor so you can talk about it because it could be from a place of maybe your history your family history or a trigger i do not know but if it is affecting your daily life i think you should seek help for that one now my darling finding the right person is not is not measured or wouldn't say that is what measures your success in life you know what i mean because there are people who makes it look like okay let me say this when i was single yeah there are people I knew then that were married and they made it sound like once you are married, that is it. You are successful. They are happy. This and this. It's like a court. People don't tell you the truth until you are in that court. And when I got married, I found out that it's really not true. That your success in life is not determined by you being married or in a relationship or whatever with somebody. You understand? Especially marriage. I understood that being in being married for a minute, now I know that you can, if you are married to the right person and you have the right mindset, you understand, you guys come together, or God brings you guys together as one, but at the same time, you have your own separate aspirations, your own separate goals in life, you understand, and if you're a miserable person, you will be married and still be miserable. If you are happy and your partner is happy, you guys will come together and be happy couples. And I've seen where people are married and they're checking each other's phone and they are jealous. And girl, please, you understand what I'm saying? Being in a relationship doesn't mean a person is in a prison. You understand? It doesn't mean because they are with you, they can't have friends, they can't go out, they can't do stuff. If you are with somebody, you are ready to marry and you want to get married and you are the kind of person that has trust issues. These are the things that you need to work on. Because there's nobody that would live with you in a house where you're always checking their phone and they go out, you're always suspicious when they haven't given you a reason to be. That's the truth. Because basically there are some people, I don't, I'm not saying it's you, but if you are that kind of person that has trust issues because people have, or you've had relationship before where you've been cheated on and you don't trust men, you don't trust this, you don't trust that girl, work on yourself before you start wanting or before he comes because you are going to destroy whatever you you will have with this person basically because of lack of trust because you will be a mess in that relationship that is the truth because one of the beauties of being a woman that knows that you are the prize is you living your life like you don't care while you care if you know what i mean basically you are like okay i'm the prize i don't have time to be checking your phone i don't take rubbish because Personally, myself, I believe that there is nothing hidden under the sun. You might be with somebody, if they want to cheat, they will cheat on you. When they are going to work, they can do it. They are going to church, they can lie. Even when a man is going to do food shopping or whatever errands, they can still cheat on you. I believe that if you are doing anything, it will always come out in the open. So I don't bother myself with such things. So I just live my life because that is what will give you happiness in the long run, being in a relationship with somebody. So that fear of you saying, oh, having that fear that, oh my God, when is it going to come? When am I going to have it? My question to you is, are you ready? Because this is a time for you to really know yourself, get your own shit together. If you need counseling, if you need therapy, whatever you think you need to get your mindset right, that will keep, because it's not about coming into the marriage. It's about staying in the marriage. And if you are so messed up, the marriage will not last. So you might actually meet a good person but it won't last because you are a mess. So my darling, I am saying to you today that as you are waiting and believing God this year for this person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, I want you as well to work on yourself. Because when you work on yourself, you are able to wait naturally. You are able to love life. You are able to smile. You are able to just be grateful for every day. 
And that is how you meet the person that you want to meet. And like I said, your success, your life is not measured by being in a marriage. Because at the end of the day, we all will leave this world one day. And I don't think there's marriage in heaven according to the Bible. And as well, excuse me, please. And as well, your success in life, does, like I said, is not measured by you being in a marriage. So you loving your life, having a fulfilling career, having close friends, having family, having a sense of purpose in your own self, that is what gives you happiness. And when you have all these things in place, because you will attract what you are, because when you have your shit together, you will basically attract somebody that has his own shit or our own shit together. You understand? If you are now, yeah, a few things that you can do when you are feeling down. Like I said, there are days that you will feel down. No matter how positive you are, no matter, nobody is 100% positive. The difference is there are some people who have mastered the heart of being more positive than others. They know how to control their negative thoughts. They know how to say, okay, whatever this negative thought is, this could be for a purpose. Whatever life throws at me, I will always find, I will always find a way to get out of it. So they have this kind of mentality because obviously they've worked on themselves. They work on their mindset. But like I said, nobody is 100% positive all the time. It just depends on what you do with those negative thoughts. Because life will bullshit you sometimes. Your mind will trick you sometimes to say that you are not worth it. No one is coming for you. You you, you are ugly. You will die alone. You will die with your cat. Your dog will eat you up. You understand stuff like that. Those are the feelings that will come or thoughts that will come to your mind sometimes. And here are a few things that I think that you can do or self-love things that you can do when you are feeling down. Make time to do some things that makes you happy every single day. This is, this is not about you feeling even down. Every day, do something that will make you happy. If it's going for a long walk, if it's baking, if it's singing, if it's dancing, if it's making calls, whatever it is, if it's journaling, if it's whatever, shopping, I do not, even if it's window shopping, you do not have to spend, excuse me, you do not have to spend money. Do something every day this year that makes you happy. Even if it's investing, even if it's learning a new skills, whatever it is, learn something, do something every day for you. And another thing you can do as well is allow yourself to receive love, allow yourself to receive compliments, allow yourself to receive grace. Seriously, allow yourself to receive peace. Because you troubling yourself, you telling yourself, allowing the thoughts of you are not good enough. Nobody wants you to dominate your mind. You are not doing yourself any good. You would die basically before your time. You understand what I'm saying? And don't, don't, don't. When I mean, another thing I say, receive love is this. Because when you've been hurt before, you wouldn't know this. But sometimes we close ourselves to love. And we have this, this picture on our mind to say, this is what I want. And because it doesn't look like what I want, then that is not it. Because this is not the truth. I tell you this. Because there are some people, or there are some women, the internet now is full of so many bullshit where they say you have to marry a millionaire, you have to marry a man that makes this figure. I'm not against that. Everybody wants to marry somebody that has, that makes certain amount of money or whatever, this certain status in the community or in the society. But there are times where God will be saying, okay, your husband is... A bricklayer and bricklayer they make good money or it could be a builder you understand and you could be looking at an invest uh, in, investor you could be looking at a doctor you understand and somebody else might be just there trying to give you love you are not seeing what is in front of you you see what I mean you are not seeing what God has placed in front of you you know they are nice to you they are kind to you they are just chatting you up but because you can't see them, you miss it. So allow yourself this year to receive love, receive compliment, and be aware of the compliments and always giving the compliments to you. 
read your environment, read the crowd this year. Another thing you can do this year, or when you are feeling down, you're feeling sad, or just generally in life, let yourself dream big. Don't close your mind to say, oh God, it's never going to happen for me, this and this and this. Don't do that. Or you live in a small town, you say, oh God, there's no one in this town. There's nothing good in this town. Nothing will ever happen to me in this town. That is you shooting yourself in your leg, on, like shooting yourself by yourself. Open your mind, dream big, where my own will come to me. Because the, the universe is so, is so wonderful, is so big. What you say is what you get, what you see. Even the Bible said, it said, as far as your eyes can see, God said to Abraham, as far as your eyes can see. So it doesn't matter where you live. When it's your turn, things will turn. You can meet somebody anywhere. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let your mind tell you that, oh, I live in a small town. Oh, I live in a small neighborhood. I live, oh, I live in a shitty neighborhood. Who's going to find me? Who's going to see me? Girl, don't close yourself like that. Let yourself dream this year. Do not stop dreaming about the family that you want, the life that you want, your kids. Take, just have your have your, uh, what's it called? Now have your vision board. The children that you want, two boys, two girls, whatever. Take pictures from the internet. Look at them. Give them names even before you have them. If I tell you the things I have done in my life in terms of children and family, you will not believe. Before my husband came, I would sleep on my bed when I was single. And I would be talking to the other side of the bed like there's a man there. Oh, babes, how are you this morning? Good morning. There was no one there. I spoke, I spoke, I spoke until it happened. My children or our children, before they came, we named them because we had a bit of up and down with uh, getting pregnant. And we named our children before they came. The girl, we gave her a name. The boy, we gave him his name. So when they came, it was like they were already here because, like I said, I am the kind of person that live my life with, I already have it. So that was my prayer. I am a mother. When I, when we were praying for children and, and just believing, that was how I used to speak. I am a mother. God, I thank you for my children. I thank you for them. I am a mother. I am a mother. That is it. Whatever situation I'm in doesn't matter. You understand? What I see doesn't matter. I am a mother. That is who I am. Like I am a female. So I am a mother. It is my birthright. You know what I mean? So that is what I am saying to you. Today, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Don't stop dreaming about the family that you want. Each time the fear comes in to say the time is going by, this is another year, this and this and this, will it happen for me this year? Tell yourself, I am a wife. I am a mother. I am a wife. I am a good wife. I have a wonderful family. I have a good husband. I have a kind husband. I have a providing husband. I have a loving husband. I love my wonderful children. You see them with the eyes of faith. And it will happen for you. Another thing you can do is focus on the things you like about yourself rather than the things you dislike. Yeah. Mm, this one is a big one. Because sometimes we are our own worst enemies. That is the truth. You tell yourself, oh God, I'm too short. Who's going to like me? Oh, my lips are too big. Oh, my nose is too wide. Oh, I have freckles. Oh, I have this. I'm getting old. Who's going to like me? Oh, most guys are don't go because you have you have allowed the talk of other people to get into your head. Oh, who's going to like me? Men of nowadays, they go for younger girls. Who is going to go for me? I'm an old woman, girl. Mm -hmm. You are your own worst enemy. 
Focus on the things that you like about yourself. If you like your lips, you praise your lips. Oh, my beautiful lips. My height is just perfect. My hips is just perfect. Everything about me is perfect. Like I said, there is no perfect human being. Even the man that is coming for you, that is going to be your life partner, I promise you, he is not perfect. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You should be your own person or the person that hype your own. You should be your your best hype man. Hype yourself. Encourage yourself. Praise the things that you like about you. And even the things, some of the things you don't even like about you, if you keep praising them, I promise you, you will start liking them. That is just the truth. God has created everyone and he has someone for everyone. It is just for you to sit down and start liking yourself first before somebody can like you. Because when you don't like yourself, you will teach people how to treat you like shit. Liking yourself gives you that leverage of showing people without telling them that this is how I want to be treated and treated with respect and love. Now, another thing that you can do is do not settle. Do not settle for things you wouldn't want your loved ones to settle for. You know, sometimes in life, yeah, we humans, we tend to advise people and we never take our own advice. But I'm saying to you today, my darling, take your own advice. If you wouldn't want your sister to settle for a useless man that goes to party every Saturday, if you wouldn't want your sister to settle down with so-and-so kind of man that loves to cheat, why would you settle? Why would you settle for someone that only calls you for booty, booty calls? Why would you settle for somebody that doesn't respect you? Why would you settle for somebody that doesn't care about your career, care about your future, care about your dreams? Why would you settle for somebody that hides you, that wouldn't introduce you to his friends, to his family? Why would you settle for somebody that you have been dating for so long and refuse to take you seriously? Why would you settle for somebody that makes fun of your body weight? Why would you settle for somebody that makes fun of your life, your family, even your dreams, your aspirations? Why would you settle? Because you wouldn't want that for somebody. So why would you take it for yourself? Like I said, if you love you, people will love you. It is not how you look. You understand what I'm saying? It is just the respect that you give to yourself that people will give to you. If people see that you you just bullshit yourself, they will bullshit you. That is you setting healthy boundaries for yourself. When people see that you treat yourself good, they will treat you. They wouldn't dare. Men, they read the environment. They read it. If they see you are the kind of woman that doesn't take rubbish, my dear, they won't serve it. They will disappear. You will hear words like, oh, who does she think she is? Oh, forget about her. I don't even like her. She's... Girl, girl, do not settle for what you wouldn't want somebody that you love to settle for. And I tell you this, my darling, fear is normal. But your positivity and your positive words that you speak and positive affirmation every day will keep you and you will get what you want and your own, your own will find you this year. The Bible says, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. So my darling, thank you for hanging out with me on this video and I'm so grateful. And if you are watched up to this stage i thank you and please do subscribe please do like this video please i want you to comment on the comment section below what do you think about the things that i've said do you have fears do you know somebody that have fears please let us talk and i'm so grateful for all your love and i am back and i'm so happy to be back thank you so much and i will see you on my next video adios